So in 1997, I drove through Dodge City on my way to Garden City. This is the first time I saw the front set street facade. I wanted to stop here ever since, and on July 13th, 2020, I did. Dodge City truly is a cow town. The main thing to see in the town is the Boot Hill Museum. Fortunately, they just built and opened this year a new museum building and gift shop. They were one of the few things in town that was actually open. They have two shows during the day. At noon, there is a shootout. Then at 6 p.m., they have the Miss Kitty Variety Review in front of the Long Branch Saloon and then a second gunfight. Inside, you can go up and tour the Boot Hill Cemetery. On your way there, you will pass the old Fort Dodge Jail. It was literally stolen from Fort Dodge in the 1950s as the fort couldn't donate it to the museum. Make sure you stop in the Long Branch Saloon and get a sarsaparilla. There is also a room dedicated to Gunsmoke, which was based in Dodge City with Sheriff Matt Dillon. And no, not that Matt Dillon. He was played by James Arness. Walk through the downtown area and check out the statues as well as the Dodge City Trail of Fame. Also, stop in the Information Center by the Boot Hill Museum to see what all Dodge City has to offer. Here are some of the attractions in the area. The Boot Hill Casino opened on December 15, 2009. It was the first state-owned and operated casino. Then you have United Wireless Arena, which can seat 3,000 plus people, as well as the attached Boot Hill Conference Center, which can seat 600 plus people. The Carnegie Art Center was built as the Carnegie Library in 1906. It was placed on the National Registry of Historic Places in 1979. The Mueller-Schmidt Home of Stone was built in 1881 overlooking Dodd City. The Long Branch Lagoon opened in 2016. This big fun water park has over 27,000 square feet of surface area. Fort Dodge is now a retired soldier's home. Usually you can drive around the fort, but with the current environment, you cannot. The Coronado Cross is further out past Fort Dodge on US 400. There are stockyards all over the place. If you don't see them, you'll smell them. The muffler man behind the Dodge City Brewery was donated to Dodge City from Dennis Hopper's estate. Dennis Hopper was born in Dodd City on May 17, 1936. You also have the Kansas Teachers Hall of Fame. Teachers are honored with stories and photos dating to the 1800s. Mariah Hills Golf Course was built in 1974 with a 4.3 rating on Google. The Dodd City Roundup Rodeo is usually held at the end of July and the beginning of August. I also had the opportunity to sample a flight of the liquors that Boot Hill Distillery had. The Dodge City Raceway Park is a three-eighths mile dirt track. The Wright Park Zoo dates back to 1926. The Santa Fe Depot was built in 1897 and was a Harvey House restaurant and hotel. It currently hosts the Santa Fe Depot Theater. There are three places I would stay in Dodge City. The Thunderbird Motel is rated 3.5 on TripAdvisor and 3.8 on Google. It also has a 4.5 rating on Facebook. It is an old chain of motels and there are several still in existence across the country. The Holiday Inn Express is centrally located close to the Dodge City Museum and the Long Branch Lagoon. Dodge City KOA is also close to the Holiday Inn Express. And that does it for our tour of Dodge City and the things to see there. Um, thank you very much and have a great day. Mm -hmm.